Matt, great to talk to you, and congratulations on your bronze. Thank you so much. I mean, it really did. It went right down to the last shot, didn't it? Oh, it did, and it always does. And you have really, from what I've been reading, really training on that last shot, that tough shot, that one. It's been hard. I tell you what, today was probably one of the toughest matches I've ever had to shoot in my life. Um, you know, I knew coming in that there was going to be a lot of pressure on me because um, basically the whole world was going to be looking at me, uh, knowing that I've still, you know, been up near the top of the, the leaderboard for a long time. Um, you know, looking at me that to be in the final, to, to walk away with the medal and to, you know, kind of conquer that last shot. And um, it was tough, I have to say. Um, you know, it's my third go-around. And uh, the whole competition was tough. The final, I was much more nervous than I normally am. Um, it it kind of came and went in ways, but it definitely was building toward the end. And honestly, you know, the last shot, I was, I was just really nervous, and I did everything I knew how to do just to try to make it a decent shot. And uh, I still wouldn't say on a normal day that it was a great shot by any means, but it was in the target. It was, um, it was enough, and I'm walking away with a medal, so I'm, I am absolutely absolutely ecstatic yeah no question i mean a big win for you and a big win for the team you guys have been doing great over there yeah the team's actually done pretty well um you know i i really can't say too much bad i mean there are definitely um a couple heartbreaks of course you know a couple people that were really you know strong for the last couple of years that, that didn't perform as well as they liked but uh you know we had some wonderful performances uh kim Brody had a fantastic performance so did uh um benny hancock and, and also my best friend jamie gray yeah um, Watching her shoot the other day, well, two days ago, was absolutely wonderful. Um, that was so inspirational. Just so, uh, <laughs> I was just so happy for her. I mean, it's yeah. cool when you watch your best friend do that. Yep, she won the gold. But Jamie says the same thing as you do. It's that last shot. Yeah, and she's had similar similar issues. Uh, actually, you know, the last shot took her out of a medal in Beijing. And, um, you know, she, we both are very similar in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, she definitely overcame it. She shot an absolutely fantastic final on Saturday. Um, fun to watch. I mean, I watched her on the last shot. I, I was actually running my own routine in my head. I was visualizing my final while mm -hmm. she was shooting hers. Wow. But on the last on the last shot, though, I was a spectator, had to watch it. She did a great job. Bam, nailed it, 10.8. What have you done different? Anything different in training? Um, I wouldn't say really too much different. You know, I've, I finally reviewed um, some of the footage, the video footage from 2004 and 2008, which I've never watched before. I usually don't watch myself shoot that much, and honestly, I probably should. Um, but when I actually reviewed that footage, I saw that it really wasn't as bad as I had remembered. Um, mm -hmm. You know, kind of learned from that, put some things in perspective, and said, okay, you know, we got this. Uh, but when it comes to training, it was pretty much my normal stuff, um, just doing a lot of visualization, putting myself in that situation, knowing that it's going to be difficult, and uh, trying to be prepared for it. Well, and Jamie, you've had some tough things going on, too. I understand you've been battling thyroid cancer. That's tough enough. And to still go out there and do what you're doing, I mean, that says a whole lot. Talk about determination. That is really pr impressive. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I have to say the last, last several years have been very difficult. Um, you know, there was one wonderful thing, of course. Uh, my daughter was born in 2009, which was awesome, and it still is. Um, but at the same time, we had issues for a couple of years uh, finding access to a shooting range in uh, Minnesota when we were living there. Um, it was just a real struggle to get on the range as much as we wanted. Um, and then on top of that, of course, in 2010, I had thyroid cancer, um, which was a whole other ordeal. Um, you know, thankfully now I know that if you're ever going to get cancer, thyroid cancer is the one you want to get because it's extremely treatable. Mm -hmm. um, but it was definitely scary for a long time. Um, and, it, and it took me out of the game for at least a couple months, recovering from surgery and kind of, you know, getting mobility back in the muscles in my neck. Um, but I'm here. I'm thankful to be here, and I'm thankful to all the people who helped get me here. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing win for you, no doubt about it. And, I mean, you've been shooting, what, since you were a kid in New Jersey, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I kind of grew up shooting guns. Uh, most of the men in my family were hunters, so I just grew up doing that. And I honestly didn't find out it was a sport until I was about 14 or 15 years old and uh, found out about it by accident and, you know, started doing it, went to college on a scholarship, and uh, here I am today. Yeah, I say New Jersey because it ain't easy to own a gun in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most gun-friendly state, but we had a wonderful uh, junior program there, junior shooting program, um, one of the better ones in the country, believe it or not. And your wife, not only your biggest fan, but she's a big shooter too. That's right. That's right, yeah, she's done pretty well. Um, this Olympics, it wasn't terrible for her. She was fourth place in her best event in air rifle, which um, honestly, she didn't have her very best day, and she was still fourth. So, I mean, she was really happy. Um, her 3x20 event, uh, she won a silver medal in Beijing, but this time didn't go quite as well as wanted. Um, but, yeah, she has she has one of every color just as I do, so that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. When you look at how well the shooting team has done this time in the Olympics, what do you think that means for the sport? 
Oh, it's great for the sport. Um, definitely, we're getting a lot more uh, press coverage back home, which is fantastic. You know, in a country that's so big with so many other big popular sports, um, it's kind of hard to get the coverage that maybe is deserved by a really good team. Um, but we're starting to get that now. Um, you know, I know it, my story has inspired a lot of people. Kim Rohde's story has inspired a lot of people. Um, and it's just great. Um, of course, the shooting sports, I think, are wonderful. I'm a little bit biased, of course. Um, but it's it's great. It's it's one of the coolest sports I think you can do. It's extremely difficult. I mean, controlling your nerves in a fine motor skill sport is very difficult. But um, it's great. Really talk, happy yep. it. And talk about role models yourself. You've got, as you said, Kim Rohde, Jamie Gray, mm-hmm. Sergeant mm-hmm. Vin Hancock. What's your message to those young shooters out there? Well, my thing I always say to young young athletes or, or just anyone aspiring to something, it doesn't really matter what it is, is dreams come true. You know, anything is possible, and if you put your mind to something, you can definitely go after it. Matt, what now for you? Your sights set on the next Olympics. What do you think? <laughs> Honestly, the only thing on my mind right now is taking some time off. Yeah, no um, it's, it's it's been a It's been a very long road um, to get here. I'm really happy that it's, it's over with, um, and now – I've just taken some time this fall to uh, do some other stuff that we wanted to do. Uh, spent some time with my daughter, of course. Uh, spent some time with my wife. I've actually had to be away from both of them quite a bit this year to go back to the U.S. for competitions while they were in Europe. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do some hunting. Um, and then kind of when it comes to shooting, I, we'll figure that out once we get to, like, December, January or something like that, figure out what's next. Um, we got a lot of questions that we need to have answered um, about the future, you know, and that will get answered over time. Yeah. Um, if – if I'm still motivated and I still think that I can be one of the best in the world, and also if I'm still getting paid to shoot, um, you know, then I'm, I would probably like to stick around. But a lot of it, of course, depends on the motivation. You know, that's something. It's, it takes a lot to um, be away from my family. It takes a lot to do the work required to be one of the best in the world. And, you know, I've, I've been there and done that. And um, if, I, if I can't be the best, then I really don't want to do it. Um, I'd rather do something else where I can be a lot more productive, such as coaching or something like that. So, so we'll just see. All righty. Well, congratulations to you and, and to the whole team. I know uh, today what is the last day of shooting, and I hope you get some time to spend in London. It's a great city. Yeah, yeah, it is. Actually, we're here a couple more days. We'll do some media stuff over the next couple of days, but uh, hopefully there's some downtime where I can go and just take it easy a little bit.